I mean, I was that girl that, you know, tried to act like Full House wasn't a big deal at school and to my friends. But inside, I was yearning for that next new episode of Full House. I could not wait. I had the countdown every week. Yeah, to say I was a fan. Hi. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. Whether you're new here or you've been around for a while, I'm very happy that you're here with me today. On this channel, we speak to finding our own personal style and building our confidence in that personal style. But as well as that, I like to help others find pieces that they absolutely love so that they can curate a wardrobe that they absolutely love. Along with that, I do take a minimalist approach to most things in my life, including my fashion and style. So I also like to talk about how we can be all style inclusive as minimalists. We do not have to, you know, stay in this little box. So if that sounds like something that you would like to partake in, make sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. Okay. You asked and so you shall receive. We are doing another minimalist stylist breakdown of celebrity outfits. Yay. So today we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm going to focus on just one celebrity or actually technically two celebrities. Um, and that is Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Yeah. Because I've always loved their approach to style. Um, they really just, they, they don't really ask permission. You know, like they just do what they wanna do. They're, they are to me kind of like the epitome of the definition of stees. Steez being style with ease. And they definitely have that. I'm realizing more and more how they are kind of the definition of, you know, minimalist style or minimalist fashion. And we'll just, we'll get into that more as the video goes on. Um, so I think with that, let's, let's get started. Let's talk about some of these outfits. All right, so let's take a look at the first outfit. All right, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know who's who. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this might get a little tricky with my descriptions, but I will try my best. Okay, here we have um, the first outfit. And the reason why I wanted to show this one is it's ultimately minimalist because it is a very um, streamlined outfit with very minimal detail and very timeless pieces. Along with that, the colors are very neutral. She's used very simple pieces, but has elevated those simple pieces by bringing in by bringing in the contrast. So you've got the casualness of the dress, the femininity of the dress, the flowiness of the dress, um, then combined with the kind of structured, uh, masculine, uh, sophisticated vibe of the blazer. So it's just two pieces, but uh, just a perfect contrast. So very easy look, very effortless, very stylish. But as well as that to kind of tie it in a knot with the minimalist aspect, it's a very timeless look. Like this look could work at any point in time. Okay, next look we've got, there's so many things that I love about this look. Again, this is very timeless because it's timeless pieces, very diverse. You can use them, you know, style them in so many different ways. Particularly why I love her outfit and how she styled it is just that, is how she styled it. So she's got oversized on oversized, which you know, sometimes I, you know, I love my tight with oversized, but where I think oversized and oversized works is when you're mindful of how you style it. So having the buttons buttoned further down um, adds that little touch of femininity, that touch of little effortness, effortlessness. Um, then even just how she's effortlessly tucked it. She hasn't like done like a really structured, uh, perfect tuck. She's just kind of done like this nice, you know, zhuzhy um, type tuck. But then on top of that, what I think just seals the deal is those uh, rolled sleeves, having the rolled sleeves all the way up to kind of like a short sleeve level. Along with that, I think her hair definitely helps the situation too. This is why I always talk about hair and how important hair is. She's got very, you know, just that wild, free flowing, amazing hair. So that definitely adds, you know, that steeze to the look as well. All right, next look. So if you just were to like actually look at the pieces and, and categorize the pieces, you know, it's a very simple basic outfit. But again, it's just like kind of looking at each little piece and just the little extra bits of style she puts into there to elevate the, the outfit further. So it's not just like a sweater with shorts look. 
So looking at the sweater, it's definitely, it's like an oversized sort of yummy sweater, a little bit of distressing. So right off the bat, it's got just a little bit of edge, a little bit of style added to it. It's just not like a basic sweater. Then we've got the sort of boyfriend distressed cutoff shorts. So just combined with the kind of relaxed fit sweater with a relaxed fit short, it already gives her that sort of a relaxed effortless air about her outfit. What pushes it even a little bit further is because the actual outfit itself is pretty casual, then she pairs it with a more kind of sophisticated, stylish, more high-end pair of heels. It just, again, has that perfect bit of contrast and it doesn't go too far overboard on either side. They just both perfectly balance each other out. And so it just, again, when you do that, it makes a look effortless. And so it ultimately just looks like she's just like threw on her sweatshirt and her shorts and a pair of heels without even thinking about it and just walked out the door and looks effortlessly chic. And ultimately it's probably what she really did do. And then just topping it off with the hat and the sunglasses just adds like a little nice little cherry on top. Um, and then I love how the minimal little sprinkle of gold with the gold bangles. So again, it's just like the little details that really push this outfit further. Okay, next look. Okay, girl after my own heart with this one. <laughs> I love these jeans. I am missing jeans, by the way. Oh my gosh. Like if you know, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know how much I love jeans. And I have not been able to wear jeans for a while and it's, 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 it's cutting me a bit. <laughs> it hurts <laughs> to basically be like only able to wear leggings and sweatpants at this point. It, it hurts for sure. Uh, I love this outfit. This is very much me, um, t-shirt and jeans with like a duster. Like, yes, please. So with this outfit, it again is all in the details. So looking at the jeans, why, why does this outfit make such an impact? Because of the jeans. Jeans to me, this is why I love jeans. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm like holding tears back. They can make such an impact when done right. So jeans that just have a really good fit, a flattering fit. That's why I think I love vintage inspired jeans like these ones, kind of with the button fly and a kind of form fitting. They're not tight fitting. They're more form fitting and they've broken into your body and they just look perfect for your body and really just elevate any look you put them with. So right, right there, that's what this look is. Like if you didn't have the jeans, like if you didn't have a good pair of jeans like that, this look would not be the same. This look would not have the same amount of impact. It's those jeans that kind of pull you in. For sure, for me anyways. So then on top, she just has like a simple white tee. So she's kind of sandwiched the look with casualness, with the casual sort of loafer, loafer slip on uh, flats with the casual t-shirt. And then she's paired it with, it looks like it's kind of like a duster cardigan slash kind of coat, like a light coat. You know that I love my duster cardigans because I love adding them to my casual looks because I think it adds that drama, it adds that sophistication. So it's just a great way to throw on a bit of contrast. So already right there with those pieces, we would, we would be good. So then just for her to top it off with this oversized yummy scarf, she doesn't do anything real structural or intentional with it. She kind of just throws it on and throws it over her shoulder, zhuzhes it a bit and it's and it's good to go. And I think what that adds is like that effortless little bit of style, that effortless style detail basically just adds some sort of texture and dimension to the look. Again, because these are just timeless classic pieces, we've seen these pieces for decades, it works for any time period. So again, it just fits right in with that minimalist aesthetic. Okay, so those were my favorite looks from Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. These are kind of their more everyday streetwear looks that I think explains their style a lot better. So why do I think that they are like the definition of minimalist fashion or minimalist style? One, they do definitely have like a minimalist style aesthetic. They're definitely like a minimalist style type. That's a sort of obvious thing, you know, with the more minimal details, the simple pieces, the simple silhouettes, the neutral color palette. But along with that, they're minimalist in the sense that they don't think of their style in the way of like currency, 
um, of relevancy. They more just look at their style in a very personal way and they wear their clothes how they wanna wear their clothes. And what this basically does is it makes it so nobody can ever really touch them in the sense of like being on trend or being fashion forward or whatever it may be. They basically just forge their own path and ask for no forgiveness. And to me, that is sort of the minimalist way. I think being a minimalist is really about um, focusing on the things that make you happy and kind of refining everything down to what's essential and what's important to you. Building this kind of life, or in this case, a wardrobe or fashion around that sort of mindset. So I think Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen epitomize that for sure, because that is what their style is, is it, it's their own. So that is really why I find them to be an inspiration for fashion, style, and as a minimalist. All right, my friends, that is today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely comment below and let me know what you thought. If you did like today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes. Make sure to click the subscribe button as well as the little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes every week. All right, my friends, you have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other, and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.